let us study the next example which is based on electrical furnace an electrical furnace is used to melt 40 kg of aluminium per hour the initial temperature of aluminium is being 12 degree celsius calculate the input power required and the cost of operating the furnace for 20 hours given that aluminium has following thermal properties specific heat capacity is equal to 950 joules per kg kelvin melting point is 660 degree celsius specific heat specific latent heat of fusion is 450 kilojoule per kg assume that efficiency of furnace is 85 percent and the cost of energy bill to be rupees 3 per unit so what is the given mass of in the electrical furnace we have to melt the uh, aluminium so keep in mind there are the two uh, types of heats are required one is called a sensible heat and another one is called as latent heat in sensible heat we want to raise the temperature of the aluminium from 12 degrees celsius to the melting point that is 660 degrees celsius and at the 660 degrees celsius we have to convert the solid state of aluminium into liquid state hence we require the latent heat so thermal output is in terms of sensible heat plus latent heat so and electrical input is given as vit so mass is 40 kg specific heat of uh, specific heat capacity c is equal to 950 joules kg kelvin per kg kelvin initial temperature is 12 degree celsius and melting point t2 is equal to 660 degree celsius so change in temperature is required 660 minus 12 that is 648 degree celsius so that is 648 kelvin so i will calculate the specific latent heat of fusion specific latent heat of fusion is given as 450 kilojoules per kg that is 450 into 10 raised to 3 joules per kg so heat required to the change heat re energy required is equal to change the metal plus melting the metal okay charge the metal plus melting the metal so charge the metal is equal to mc delta t and melting the metal is equal to ml so substituting mc into delta t and substituting m into l we will get the total energy output required as 42.624 into 10 raised to 6 joule or watt second so total energy input required so total energy input required for one hour i will calculate total energy input required for one hour is equal to output divided by efficiency so output is given in the watt second so output is given in the watt second it is taken here then it is divided by efficiency that is 0.85 so during one hour we have to calculate hence it is divided by 36000 and it is required in terms of kilos we are multiplying it by we are we are multiplying the denominator by thousand so this 36600 will convert second into hour and 1000 divided by 1000 will convert this watt into kilowatt so total energy input required is is 13.93 kilowatt hour so how will calculate the Input, input is nothing but output divided by time so output is 13.93 divided by one hour that is 13.93 kilowatt so how will calculate the unit consumption unit consumption for 20 hours is equal to power into time that is 20 so 13.93 into 20 that is 278.6 kilowatt hour so we will calculate the cost of energy for one unit that is for 1 kwh uh, 1 kwh consumption we require 3 rupees so 278.6 kwh that is unit into 3 is equal to 835.8 rupees for 24 for 20 hours Okay. so this is this example which is which is conversion from one one form of energy that is electrical energy into the uh, thermal energy in form of changing the state of the substance okay so let us consider the another example in this example we are going to study about the hydroelectric generating power plant a hydroelectric generating plant is supplied from is supplied from a reservoir of capacity 20 into 10 to 6 meter cube with a head of 200 meter and the hydraulic efficiency of the plant is 0.8 and the electrical efficiency is 0.9 which is the total uh, what is the total available energy assume 1 meter cube of water has a mass of 1000 kg so mass of how will calculate the mass of uh, water so 20 to 10 to 6 meter cube is the is the uh, volume of the water 
water so it is multiplied by the thousand that is because one meter cube is equal to thousand kg so it gives me 20 into 10 raised to 9 kilo joule so a kilogram mass of the water head is 200 meter here keep in mind we are going to convert the potential energy into electrical energy so input is the potential energy that is a mechanical input and uh, electrical energy is the output okay so we are we are going to convert that so i will calculate h is equal to 200 meter we have to lift that water to, uh, we have to uh, the head of the water is at 200 meter the potential energy uh, the poten input potential energy is equal to what mgh mass into gravitational force into height so it will gives me 3924 substituting mass gravitational force as 9.81 into 200 as a height so sub we'll get a 3924 into 10 to 10 joule or watt second so efficiency of hydraulic power plant is 0.8 and efficiency of electrical plant is 0.9 so overall efficiency is equal to hydraulic efficiency multiplied by electrical efficiency so 0.8 into 0.9 this gives me 0.72 so output energy available so ultimately what is the energy available at the output output energy available is equal to input energy into efficiency that is 3924 into 10 to 10 into 0.72 it gives me uh, 2925.28 into 10 raised to 10 joule or watt second so output of energy available in kwh this is in watt second so to convert watt into kilowatt we have to divide it by thousand to convert second into hours we have to divide it by 3600 so total so the total uh, energy available is equal to 7,848 7, into 10 raised to 3 kWh. Thank you.